forming your political views? Were you aware of politics? Not too much. Not too much. Um, I was aware... <coughs> Sorry for this bad cough I have. I was aware of the Korean War in 1951-52. That, that, <coughs> that was in the papers a lot, the Korean War. Because all we had was wireless news and uh, Western Mail. No, Daily Herald, what am I on about? That was my father's paper, Labour paper, Daily Herald. I don't think we had the Western Mail at all until later on in the 60s when the Daily Herald came to an end and I think the Herald then became the Mirror. Something of that kind happened. And then the equivalent of the Herald was the people. But we weren't supposed to have a Sunday paper, mind. Oh, good gosh, it was a sin. Cast iron case, you're going to hell. You were told by the minister and the deacons, Sunday papers. So we would get sometimes my father because he would be working in the mine. He would work on a Sunday often, you know. He'd bring back the Sunday paper. But the ministers, the visiting ministers to Peniel, there was a habit that one month each member of the chapel would take in the minister for lunch and tea. And sometimes to stay on the Saturday night before the Sunday. Because in the cars, all these people came by buses. If they came from Kanekli, they'd have to come by bus. If they came from Abertavi, they'd have to come by bus. And you might be reading the paper, see? And the minister would, oh my God, it was hidden under the seat. You know, my mother would sit on it almost, make sure that nobody else would get near it. And talking of that, in Peniel itself, one day we had a minister that stayed with us, and we just had the television, 1953. And Muffin the Mule was on. And I would like Muffin the Mule, he was only about nine, ten, didn't it? Well, my gosh, in his sermon that night, he castigated in his sermon the fact that he had stayed in this house and that the little child was watching Muffin the Mule on a Sunday. It's only a wooden horse, for God's sake. I don't know whether you ever saw Muffin the Mule. It was like a puppet on a string. Huh? Amazing. See, they were very, 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 very strict times. And, uh, but I might come to that later on in, in my politics. My politics and the art of oratory all came from Peniel. All of it. You have to, do, you have to learn, memorise. You know, I've got still a very, very good memory and if I read something I only need to read it once I remember it. Different to watching television, films and all that nonsense of today. I can watch a film ten times in a year and I still won't remember it. But if you give me something to read it's almost like a photographic memory. Now all that was born out of things like the whole Mam. Now the whole Mam was a little booklet that children had to learn and recite off by heart in Sunday schools, right? And then there would be tests, competitions between chapels on, on who could recite these things, you know? And things like the Lord's Prayer, things like around with you for Miguel, that psalm, think you were given a psalm of about 15 verses to learn, not at 15, 20 years of age, at 8, 10, 12 years of age, right? And we were expected to learn them. And we did, you know. So there was a lot of that preparation at the Sunday school, of course. As I grew a bit older, into my late teens, towards the end of the 50s, was a debating society. You know, uh, there were some great... Uh, deacons in Peniel who I had a great respect for, one in particular, Thomas John Davis. And Thomas John could pray like Lloyd George. He could, he would have been a great orator. Tremendous. You know, I much of my stopping and starting and emphasizing 
has all come from Thomas Judd, not from anybody else. But the debating has come from people there, Goba, Thomas John's brother, Nancy Davis, Peggy, Peggy Evans. My gosh, and we argued as if our life depended on it because we were told next Sunday the topic in the Sunday school will be, let's say, the Ten Commandments. And what happened with the Ten Commandments? Now, we then would have to debate on that day, on the Sunday school, what did it all mean? Did it happen? Why did it happen? You know, it, uh, all these sort of things. And that is how it all developed. But to go back to your question, Korean War, I also remember the Suez Crisis of 56. I was getting more aware by then because I was now 13, 14 years of age. And you were in Gwen Drive by this time? Just about started. Just about started. Just about started in 55. Second time round, by the way. I failed by 11 plus the first time. Just missed it. My father was annoyed because I hadn't worked hard enough, I suppose. So there was a big decision to be made in 1955. 54, I mean, was I going to go to the secondary border in Croissants or to the grammar school in Gwendrath? To go to the grammar school, I'd have to stay on now an extra year in the primary school. So instead of leaving the primary school at 11, I left at 12, a year behind some of the other people. And we had two or three girls in my class in the uh, in 54, Jean, Jean Lewis, and you're now Williams. Well, God, you know, they were geniuses compared to me. I was average, not much more than average, you know, because uh, I never considered myself that sort of intellectual person. But what I was, was a hard worker and willing to work, but I didn't quite get through. So the decision was made, you have got to stay in the primary school another year. And then they got through the year afterwards. Mm -hmm. So 56 Suez, Anthony Eden, very unpopular as a Prime Minister. He then got ill, he had to resign. And Macmillan took over, uh, super back as he was. You know, he, he was God's saviour to people in those days uh, because he became very, very popular, uh, super back. Uh, but I remember those days. I have a faint memory of Lady Meghan Lloyd George winning the by-election in February 57, I think, something of that kind. Not much memory, but I'm, I was aware only because the big fuss everywhere was David Lloyd George's daughter is now the MP for Commander. And she was a Liberal MP in Anglesey, switched to Labour, that was okay. <laughs> if it had been the other way round, it would not have been too clever, as happened to me years afterwards. But as long as they came into the fold, as long as they became part of the family, everything is forgiven.